all right you can see right here they did have it in some sort of conduit or something or another the electric running from the house to the garage all right now look up here look where this line is that we painted right on top of the line that it said exactly where it was that thing as you can see it's going to pinpoint it pretty good hey guys eric here with project diy i'm going to show you in this video how you can find those wires quickly and easily you don't have to dig a bunch of holes in your yard and you can find exactly where wires are it actually can be used for wires in the wall and other things as well but i'm going to be showing you the application on how you can use it to find those underground wires all right so you want to take this this one here the wire locator it says on here the transmitter okay you want to take this one you want to go into a box i'm i'm putting it in the box you can hook it to the one of the wires i have this turned off from the house this is the main box that runs from the house out to the garage i have the main in the in the house shut off so none of this is hot because it's it recommends not hooking this to a hot wire because you'll burn these up it's just too much juice for it but you hook this to here your black goes on your ground put this on one of your wires your red preferably the hot and then uh, when you get ready you turn this on cable scan see where it says cable scan right there that's what you want to put it on so you're gonna flip that on all right then your wire locator it says right here on the wire locator you have off on switch we'll flip that to on and as you can hear that's very annoying here's your your volume you can turn that up or down it does come with headphones you can plug them into there i'm not going to do it because it like i said it's kind of loud but all right so right over there is where it's coming out of the house that's where it runs from the house right down there and then it's somewhere along the line it runs from here all the way down to the corner right there the barn is where it goes into the barn so that i just need to find this line because i have a wood boiler going in there and i need to trench a line from there over to there and this wire goes through here so i've got to find this wire because i do not want to hit it i can turn it off and i'm going to turn it off so i don't hit it when it's live but at the same time it's better if i know where it's at that way i can find it don't have any issues or nothing like that so it's just easier i'm going to show you how to use this here to the sound of this here i'm going to put it over top of it where you can hear it and i'll move it off to the side Right here is where it's showing the wire is. Watch. Now we'll move this over to the side. See how you're not getting any kind of noise? Now listen to it. See how you get that constant noise? See you're not. You just barely want to let this swing. You don't have to sit and try to cover. You don't have to sit and try to cover, you know, a two foot span. I mean, the wire is only so big. So you just want to do a small swing of it, just back and forth. All right, so we know it's there. We're gonna step back here just a little bit because right back here is actually where we need to trench it. So. We know obviously there's the wire. Obviously over there at the corner of the house is the wire. Let's back up here just a little bit. Same noise, right? All right, let's, we're gonna do a dig right here where we marked. We're gonna see if that thing, how accurate and correct it is and see if we can find that electric wire.
All right, you can see right here, they did have it in some sort of conduit or something or another, the electric running from the house to the garage. All right, now look up here. Look where this line is that we painted. Right on top of the line that it said exactly where it was. That thing, as you can see, it's gonna pinpoint it pretty good. That way you're not digging a hole. That particular one detects things up to two feet deep. They have another one that will go three feet, but this one detects up to three feet. This particular line, I'd say is right around a foot deep. So it was definitely within range. I had a feeling it would be. But uh, that shows you how accurate it is. It actually was spot on, saved me a lot of time. Some of you are like, well, why didn't you call 411 or 811? Well, I did, but I was told, I was told that they wouldn't come out back. And this is out behind my house. And I didn't need the electric in the front. I knew where it was because it's overhead wire. So, all right guys, so these two simple tools here, you can find those underground wires that you have. This here are fairly inexpensive. I bought these on Amazon for like just under $50 by the time you shipped them, paid taxes and all that. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get these. Guys, hopefully this video has been helpful for you all. If you would, give us some likes, give us some subscriptions, and remember as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY. Thanks for watching.